Simon says, subscribe and click on the bell icon to receive notifications. Hello everyone. Welcome to a new tutorial from Simon Says It. In this video, I will show you how to make a histogram in Excel. A histogram is a column chart that displays the frequency of a variable in a given range. It is very similar to bar charts, except that it groups data together in user-specific intervals called bins. They are powerful data visualization tools that help you gain insights and tell a story based on your data. There are two easy ways to add an Excel histogram. In earlier versions, you need to use the data analysis tool, and in later versions of Excel, there is a ready-made histogram chart tool available in the chart section. So, without further ado, let's get right into it. First, let us see how to add Excel histogram using the data analysis tool pack. Enter and format your data onto the Excel worksheet and enter the upper limits of each bin in a separate column. Now, click on the data analysis button under the data tab. In the data analysis menu, select histogram and click OK. Select the input range for the histogram and select the bin range for the histogram. Finally, select a suitable output range for the histogram. Also, check the chart option tick box and click OK. To change the gap width between bins, right click on any of the bars and click on the Format Data Series button. Also, remove unwanted intervals by unchecking them in the Values filter. And this is how you create a histogram. You can easily create a histogram in recent versions by clicking on the histogram option. Let us see how. First, select the data range. Locate and click on histogram option under the charts group in the insert tab. After Excel plots the histogram, you can format it if needed. To format, right click on the horizontal axis and then on the format axis option. Change the number of bins and the bin width in the format axis pane. Specify the number of bins the range of overflow and underflow bins here to make Excel plot your histogram properly. You can change the gap between the bins by right-clicking on the bins and changing the gap width in the Format Data Series pane. That is all, folks. In this video, we saw how to create a histogram in Excel in two easy ways. Thank you. If you're not a subscriber, click down below to subscribe so you get notified about similar videos we upload. To see the full course that this video came from, click over there. And click over there to see more videos from Simon Says It.